Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy HB3 in the building. In, well, not a building, but today I'm coming to y'all about some crown tips for the beehive waivers, man. Y'all been asking for these tips for a very long time, and I'm glad that I'm vlogging right now to give you this video. I'm not in the house. It's fresh on the brain, so stay tuned. over there well, I be seeing suspicious cars and I get paranoid I'm telling you man it's it be crazy <laughs> make sure you like share comment and subscribe to your boys channel like always information is gonna be down in the description below but we're gonna go ahead and start this video we're gonna talk about some things we're gonna get this stuff about the crown you're gonna get vital information information that you're going to need let's get it man all right so basically the the number one thing that you're going to have to know about the crown i've made crown videos but let's be real here Let, let's let's really talk about the nucleus of how it all works you know what you really 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 need to do number one number one of course you gotta find the crown you gotta find your crown people find your crown if you don't find your crown you're shit out of luck for any other tips after that. You're shit out of luck for any information, any help after that. And did I say shit? I'm sorry for saying shit. Poop, whatever you want to call it. You're out of luck, people. You're not going to find any help if you do not find your crown first. You got to find it. So once we found the crown, how do you do I mean, how do you do? How do you find the crown? Well, typically what I tell people, wet the hair and pick it out. Typically the crown reveal itself. Of course. Now, if you're one of those people that like to wolf and then you want to wait 10, 17, 16, 20 weeks before you find your crown, I'm going to just be honest with you. It's going to be extremely difficult to find a crown with that much hair. Cut down. Cut it down so you can see it. You can see the natural swirl that it makes. I'm just going to let y'all know right now. 95% of waivers who uh, uh, scalp their hair the crown is normally going to reveal itself automatically and the reason being is because we all have natural natural swirl crowns on our head so with that being said basically we found the crown we've you found your crown you know where it's at you've cut it down so you can find it or you've wet your hair and picked it out and boom you found now the second thing that you want to you want to do which is really important really important this is really important people make sure number two number two number two make sure we are breaking the swirl if it's a natural swirl that you have, you have to break this natural swirl out. If you do not break this natural swirl out, you will continue to have trouble trying to get this beehive in there, trying to get them, them areas to do what you want to do and go where you want to go. So how do you break a natural swirl, a natural growth pattern? It's easy. Go the opposite way. If, if you got something that's going left, how do you not go left by going right <laughs> by going right that's all you gotta do so it's it's the same concept i know i make it sound too easy but it really is this easy if your hair is naturally going a certain way and you want it to go the opposite way go the opposite way did you ever think to do that <laughs> if your hair goes regular clockwise go counterclockwise if your hair naturally goes counterclockwise go clockwise it's that easy so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be tapping areas around your crown and you're going to be going the opposite way trying to get the swirl to come out as you're doing that you're going to be breaking your swirl you're going to be breaking your natural swirl and i keep doing this because y'all looking at the camera and y'all like what the fuck is he doing like why does he keep doing this well when you do this this is me this is my imitation of breaking a swirl this is my imitation of breaking a swirl my bad my bad but that that's that's i do that all the time i'm really animated with my hands i do a lot with my hands 
you know, when I'm giving information. So just bear with me. So two is going to be breaking the natural swirl. Now, three, when it comes to a beehive, three, when it comes to a beehive, is really, 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 really the easiest part of this. We've gotten the hard part out, finding the crown and breaking the natural swirl. The easy part of this and pretty much probably mostly the final part is just brushing it. Just brushing it the way that you're supposed to be brushing it with the beehive. You're gonna have four parts of the beehive. A lot of people like to say eight, eight parts. I know my boy Pop, he likes to say eight part breakdown. I know Wavy Leon has said, you know, an eight part breakdown. There's, that was a little tedious to me. You know, but they're still right. They're, they're, don't get me wrong. It's still right. But let's just be real here. When you're doing that brush, you got to use a big brush. You kind of have common sense on those certain areas that you're supposed to be brushing. But it's really four parts. You got main four parts. You got north, south, east, west. That's what you got. North, south, east, east, west. Those are the main parts, the main areas you need to be brushing off the crown. So you've broken the swirl and you just have this hair that's going this way, that's going that way, that's going that way, that's going that way. These habits are important for the hair to start making that one little sonic ring. It's going to be a nice sonic ring. You know, it's going to be one. That, that was my um, that, that, that was my sonic sound. That's what it sounded like when he went up and jumped up and he went up and he got those. Yeah, that this this is this is bad, people. I get easily distracted when I'm giving y'all information. Sometimes I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna keep it in the video. You might as well. But yeah, like I call them Sonic rings, whatever, whatever. But this is where you can get that last ring. It's gonna be more defined. It's gonna be defined, and you really, really want to do that. So basically. You, if you look at the top of your crown, I'm gonna see if I can do this, but if you look at the top of your crown, top of your crown is gonna have north, this is north. So you're gonna brush north. The back of your crown is gonna be south. So you're gonna brush down in the back, south. This is where y'all make the mistake. And this is important. This is where y'all make the mistake and have this long ass line in your beehive or your crown area and you saying why do i got the line of death in my head i call it the line of death is mainly because that is what when you're on the machine and you die and it's like Ehh! it's pretty much the sound that it makes when you're dead uh but the machine when you see the machine there's just a line and you know there's no pulse or anything See, people, I get distracted. But basically, you have that long line of delts. It's just in the back of your 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 um, your crown, and you're like, bro, what do I do? Like, how do I get rid of that? You forget that there's two parts. There's two parts on each side. There's two parts. There's one part here. There's one part here. That is your left and 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 right of the crown. That is your east and west of the crown. Those have respective sides that need to be brushed individually, respectfully for themselves. If you don't brush those two sides, then you're going to continue to have the line of death in the middle of your damn crown, people. It's that simple. So once you once you get the concept of this, you're going to be good. You, you're going to be good. That's all you have to do, people. Find your crown, break the swirl, and then have great brush habits and learn the angles of where you need to be brushing on your crown. That's it. After that, you make sure you rag up, you make sure the crown is secure with a nice do-rag or a nice cap that's not gonna be moving in that area much at all. If you're one of those people that wanted to lay down perfectly, you can get some butters, a hard butter that's gonna work, or you can put some pomade there. I'm a big against that, but if this is one of those things that you need, so be it that's pretty much it man i'm glad i was able to come here and just give you these quick videos helping y'all on how to get your crown on point so make sure of course you got any questions or concern make sure you hit me up here on youtube you know what i'm saying comment down in the you know the uh, information below in the comment section uh, of course as you can see i put my, my snapchat on here because i don't start it back on my snapchat Hit me up on Instagram, Throne King 3. 
Yo, Facebook, I'm King Bledsoe. Make sure you subscribe because there's more videos coming. So, it is your boy, HB3. Mm, 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 I'm out of here. I'm dead. I'm dead.